My definition of selling is this, very simply. To me, the art of selling is nothing more than taking an idea, planting it in your customer's brain, and making them feel like they thought of it. Don't you agree? <laughs> we'll get to the manipulative part of it a little bit later, all right? The compliance guy comes up after me, he'll fix whatever I've messed up. <laughs> Taking an idea, putting it in your customer's brain and making them feel like they thought of it. What happened to us? Why don't we do that anymore? Why don't we? Rob Dallas, the power of persuasion, redefining influence, reversing conventional practices, changing the approach, the focus, the entire process of selling. How? By following the customer's lead. The way we're taught to sell and the way customers buy are polar opposites. They're completely different. We've got to get them to line up. Customer-centered selling to me is not a slogan. Customer-centered selling means to me that if we can track the way this customer thinks and we can track their three decision points and the eight moves that they're going to make, then let's follow their wheel for a change. Let's choose our tactics based on where the customer is. No humanitarian efforts. Let's just try and stay in sync with the customer. I think we're, we should be done dropping multiple sales ideas on you and telling you to sell. Let's start with where he or she is and line up the appropriate tactics. Rob Jollis is an expert on tactics that lead from persuasion to sales. He offers a wealth of experience, both training and selling for over 20 years. Senior sales training consultant for Xerox, former sales trainer for New York Life, currently president of Jollis Associates, an independent training consulting firm. Rob Jollis, training the sales trainers, sharing persuasive strategies. For more information on Rob Jollis and the power of persuasion, contact Jollis Associates.